Ken and Margaret Richmond from Richtown, Ontario, arrived January the 1st, 2007, in Perth, West Australia, to stay with Margaret's brother, Don. Ken and Margaret were tired because they'd flown from Detroit to Los Angeles, Los Angeles, Sydney, on on to Perth, nearly 24 hours of travel. Nevertheless, they checked out the tourist brochures and welcomed a coffee and beer at the Dome restaurant at the domestic airport. Welcome to Perth. We're glad to be here. <laughs> and I'm drinking hot coffee and it's 34 degrees. Absolutely gorgeous. And we're having a coffee already and a raspberry tart. The next day we decided to visit Cottesloe Beach, a four block walk from Dawn's Peppermint Grove house. It's a beautiful sunny day, about 34 degrees Celsius, and there's loads of people at the beach. We reached the beach. Cottesloe Beach has been voted Perth's most popular beach. Here pictured with Pat, Don's brother's wife, and George. Don's brother, who visited in March 2006. He checks out the local fish. Ken is struck by the beauty and almost artistic view of the beach. Here viewed in a panorama. A more realistic view looking almost 180 degree. The large building is the Indiana Tea Room, originally built around 1900, but reconstructed in the last 20 years. It's got a great cappuccino restaurant. A sailboat race is in progress. And there's lots of people to watch. The sea breeze is definitely in, cooling the temperatures. Dawn's unfortunately confined to a wheelchair and has taken his four-wheel drive wheelchair down to the beach. The pace is fast and furious. But everybody looks very relaxed in the heat of the summer's day. The lifeguards are kept busy. There's a large surf. Ken relaxes with the new Clive Custer book. We walk along the road Marine Parade, which borders Cottesloe Beach. Here's the Cottesloe Hotel. Relaxing with the cappuccino. Thanks for joining us on this visit of Ken and Margaret to Cottesloe Beach, Western Australia. I do hope you have a good day.